So I know I promised you that the next video, I would have this announcement. I would tell you what it is I'm going to do. And yesterday morning, that was my plan. But last night, it occurred to me, I don't really know what I want to say because I keep trying to do the same thing in a different way and it just doesn't feel right to me. You know, I have three separate lives. I have the one that I live, the one that I kind of show you, and this other one where I'm trying to survive in the world just like everybody else. And I gotta be honest, I'm exhausted trying to juggle all three of those lives and have any of them make any sense. And I can tell you that none of them are really working out. You know, I can tell you that the last time I even enjoyed making a video was in 2016 when I first started this vlog and I said, I'm just going to experiment and I could do whatever I wanted because nobody watched and I loved it. But once people started watching, it became much more difficult and it became really uncomfortable. And the truth is, is I don't really understand this relationship, this attempt to interact in a communication way that I don't know anything about you and you know all this really personal stuff about me. And it makes me really uncomfortable. And the other thing that happens, and I, you know, had this pointed out to me and it really took me aback, but I saw a comment recently that just showed me that this was true, was that Somebody said, Jill, if you don't even know how to start a fire, why should anybody listen to you? And I thought, that makes me incredibly sad because I'm investing all this time and energy and my own money trying to create something of value and of meaning. And the big takeaway was, you don't even know how to start a fire. What on earth could you know that would be of value to me? Or why should I even watch you for my entertainment? Because you don't even know how to start a fire. And so that really hit home and I haven't really known what to do with that. And so as I stand on this brink, right, this new precipice, because something has to change, I can't stay here. And what I used to do doesn't work. I'm stuck with this question about, well, where do I want to go? How do I want to move my life, my art, my work, my purpose? How do I move that forward? And I think that the real answer is, and something that I've been thinking about for a while, is I have to find a way to bring all three of those parts of myself together in one way. And in the same way that I talk about it at the level of my work, what does it mean to stay human? How do we become our most authentic and original blueprint, the way we were designed to be? I think the second piece of that is how do I be my most authentic self in this creative way without letting your feedback, for better or for worse, impact who I am, what I do, and what I say. Because the power of art, the power of creation, is when it's authentic and original. And we work in this very bizarre feedback mechanism. And what I know, and what I've always known, and what most people do know, nothing great, nothing of value ever comes from the big bubble of conformity. It's only by those who live in the place that others can't really see, hear, or understand that anything new comes forth into this world. And when it's brand new, most people don't like it. They don't appreciate it. They don't want it. They make fun of it. They try to control it. They laugh at it. They crucify it. They persecute it. And I think we're in this really amazing time in our world where that's what's happening to a lot of people. And I don't consider myself having something special to offer you, but I do know that I have something special to offer myself. And if I can't find a way to be creative that's authentic and meaningful for me, there's really no reason to do that. And so 
There is no grand announcement about what this next year of my life is going to be, but I am going to attempt to document it in a way that makes sense for me. And it isn't going to be a way for you to judge my journey. But for those of you who find something in it that's valuable, we'll just go from there. And that's really the best I can do. So there's no drum roll, there's no big announcement. There's just this tiny moment of time where everything is about to change. And it's going to take some time because it's an uncomfortable place for me to be, to figure out what's next. This summer has been about so many changes for me at a deep and a personal level that I can never talk about. But I want to find a way to express them, not for your benefit, not for your entertainment, not for your comments, not for your support, but because that's what's birthing up that's authentic within me. And most of that has to do with what it's time to let go of. And so the announcement for today is just that. It's just another day. We're just going to take a deep breath and I am going to see you next time. Hi, little boy.